Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see on that he's been recharged, and it sounds like the feds did decide to recharge him because the Ninth Circuit had vacated the Duarte decision. Right. So the Ninth Circuit, after the dismissal, vacated the Duarte decision. They're going to hear it en banc um, in September. So I am frankly just shocked by the fact that the government decided to move forward with charges now, just given you know what's been going on and developing in Second Circuit case law around the country, including in the Ninth Circuit. Um, they, re they recalled the Duarte decision. Um, they depublished it so that the entire Ninth Circuit, the court as a whole, can re-review it. I am not expecting a different decision. Um, and if you look at what decisions are coming down from other circuits around the country, um, other circuits are in alignment with what the Ninth Circuit found. And I believe that ultimately the Supreme Court would be or will be in alignment when the issue comes before them, probably in the next year or so. Um, but they did. They, re they refiled charges. Um, we will, again, move for dismissal. There are a couple of other motions that I will be filing in addition to I'm raising the Duarte and Second Amendment challenges. We'll be moving to dismiss on additional grounds in the for in the coming weeks. Um, this is, you know, a case where Mr. Hatch was charged, as you know, initially by the state. We have one dismissal there. Mm -hmm. Charged then by the feds, second dismissal. And they're going at it again a third time. And one of the things I think that's most shocking about the newer indictments, um, it all involves identical. Wow. Wow. You know, check it, man. It's your boy, E CEO. Listen, I, I just had to speak on this, man. Boosie, once again, you know, going through a thing with, you know, this whole situation. And I just really trip off the fact of how you can think one minute you got your foot out of the situation and the next minute it's right back in. Um, he just celebrated the other day. You seen my post where I said he threw his monitor off his leg and he was he was pretty much done with this. But now it looked like the Fed have picked it up a federal case. It, 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 the state had dropped it, but the, the Fed federal case now kicks in. Um, and, and you can expect this. This ain't the first time we've seen this happen. But the one thing that we, we, we can rest assured of is that they're not going to play with him, man. And he just got to he just got to figure out, you know, how to, you know, maneuver in the midst of his situation. Anytime you start dealing with this court system, as I've always told y'all, you know, this is not a place where we're comfortable at anyway. I've had certain guests on my show that say, oh, yeah, it's not that bad. According, but man, that's that place not set up for us. And I don't care how you look at it. My experience Personally, I just don't think it's set up for us like that. How can a system that pretty much really enslaved you and was targeting you now be beneficial for you? I just don't get that part. So at the end of the day, I'm going to bring my boy Marvin, man. OG Pyru is in the building. Uh, what's going on? Good morning. Good morning, man. Good morning. Well, can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right. What's going on this morning, OG Pyru? What you hearing this man, thing? Yeah, they are. They jacking Bootsy up out here in California. They're trying to make it look big, you know. But uh, that's that Fed is. You got to you got to understand um, with uh, with with federal charges after the state drops charges like like that. The federal federal um, statute is that you know that's it's called interfering with commerce. Uh, the guns act, and any time that you're uh, in possession of a weapon that wasn't made in the state and that you are a prior felon that they can give you uh the interfering with commerce and, and it's only three elements that they have to prove so it's kind of sticky man and and and, and with this environment going on the way it's going out here in california did you did you know did you think that that there could be further did you see this coming kind of because you've been through your experiences did you see did you think that the state would drop it and that the federal case wouldn't be an issue well yeah they, you know and and it usually if uh if it hasn't happened within a year the feds won't pick it up but this exactly what they did they did it just under that time constraint so uh it's just another ploy Right now, you know, it's a political season. Everybody's trying to uh, pull in everything they can. And, and, and I guess, you know, this is one of the uh, 
the situation. So, you know, the same thing they're doing with Young Thug. Uh, yeah, yeah. They didn't, they didn't fire two, two, black, uh, two black judges. Well, well, he got his own, Granville got his own self-accused. And the sister just thought, it's a little too thick for me. So let me say, hey, uh, my bailiff was uh, having sex with one of the, the guys in the case, and I, I don't want to look like I'm. So now they got Betty Crocker. They let, got let, me, let me ask you this, because uh, he came early on, if you go back a, a, a year ago, he talked about this DA having a personal vendetta against him. L listen to this right quick. That really dislikes me. The first time I went to court, he looked at me and said, wipe me down. It's an old, gray, white man, bro. Like, I ain't even know he knew my song. I couldn't do nothing, but I was like, damn, bro. Like, it personal, man. That's prosecutor misconduct. He looked at me and said, wipe me down. It surprised me, bro. It surprised me. I was like, damn. Then the dudes I was in a tank with, I had two Mexicans. They saw it. They was off bro they was like man they was mad bro like, he surprised everybody that day wow so the prosecutor that he uh, initially been fighting with uh because of this case said wipe me down in in court and you know alluded to his rap lyrics so like um you know an old gray man is as, as boosie just said you know this was when this first took off how much does that prosecutor once the federal side picks up how much do they have to do with that going into that situation well i mean they work hand in hand and and you know just like you said the state prosecutor he's gonna that's probably why they weighed in in san diego to go to go over to the feds we ain't, we're not gonna let this go because Boosie been too active. He keeps, you know, he, he's still working. He's still rapping. He's doing what he's doing. And you know, sometimes you know, as as blacks, we got to lay way. White people want you to lay way low. They don't want you to be active or, or arrogant that you beat them doing anything. And you know, they, these dudes is gonna get enough of going on this no jumper, going on Vlad. Yeah, yeah, cause yeah, and I don't mean to cut y'all. I was gonna bring it up, Vlad. Pretty much his new interview that just posted is saying that, you know, Boosie, you know, the case is already over and done with. And he was really trying to get him to, you know, just talk openly about this case like it was done. Then you get this afterwards, you know, and the federal side of it, they're watching the Vlads. They're watching this. But Boosie signs up for this. This is the guy that Boosie chooses to do like me and you doing. Like he got his, 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 that's his. That's his OG Pyru over there at Vlad, you know. And they got some it, uh, slave dealing with the slave master. He still he ain't he ain't got out of that southern southern thing yet. That, that everything that the white man do is all right. And this thing, I bet you Vlad's not coming to court for him. No, and that's the part that just threw me off, man. But I just like I said uh, when he said that and how he you know looking like man, you know he looking like man. Well, we can openly talk about this case. And I'm like, man, no, bro. Like, and then, yeah, we can, oh, since it's over and done with, you know, and he knows he's been in this long enough. I think Vlad knows that this stuff can come back. He's not uneducated about the facts. Man, he's just like a lawyer. He knows every element of what crime is and how he can subliminally talk you into saying some stuff that's incriminating. I bet you they're going to use Vlad's interview against him about it, even acknowledging a gun. But do Vlad, I mean, because Vlad can choose not to give him up, give up his interview, but they got it right there. They get, it's, it's, it's public, it's public, right? If they ask him for it, that's just like, I remember back in the day, all the dope dealers, all the, all the players used to have uh, safe deposit boxes, right? Yeah. And they thought a safe deposit box was safe as hell. And the whole white man is keeping the feds would go to the bank and tell them, hey, this, this, this black here is a dope dealer. We need to look at this. They would take them at night and look in the safe deposit box and then in the morning go get an indictment, go get a, a warrant from the judge because he looked at everything in your safe deposit box. Man. That's why I started getting safes. Buy my own safe, put it in my house, and they can't do nothing unless they know what's in the safe. It's illegal, illegal search and seizure. So you have to understand anything you say can and will, will be, be used against you.
in the court of law. Man, thank you so much, OG, man. I just had to weigh in on this uh, Boosie, man, and, and just, you know, the Vlad situation, man, and the, the, the prosecutor, and, and I, I'm, I'm praying that Boosie will make it through this, you know, and, you know, at the end of the day, you know, like I said, any brother going in that courtroom, I just don't agree with it, bro. Like, that's not for us. Boosie a good, Boosie a good dude, but he got to leave them devils alone, bro. Don't, do not trust them. Vlad and No Jumper, they are the worst enemy next to Carmela Harris that black folks got. Wow, man. Check it, man. Hey, man, y'all heard OG Pyru, man. He just spoke on Boss Talk 101, Boss Talk Reviews. Listen, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you uh, let us know, man, what you think about Boosie and his linking with Vlad and just this, this judge and everything that we just spoke on, man. Get in the comments. How do Boosie come out in the end of this? Will Boosie be going back to the feds or state or what's going to happen with Boosie when this whole case is said and done? Will Boosie have another chance to beat these guys? We hope and pray that he do. That's my boy. Like I said, I rock with him from Pimp C on down. At the end of the day, that, that wipe me down statement is crazy. Let us know what you think. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Bosses talk. Man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see.